Hello everyone, King Abby here, and today I've got a Minecraft showcase on something I've designed for my new Let's Play world. So this is a smart minecart system. Depending on what is in the minecart will determine the location that the minecart travels. For instance here, just for example, we've got a nether area, a storage area, and the end. So if I want to send a whole load of blocks to the end, I can use the obsidian as the key of where it's going, send it along, and it goes to the end. Say I want to send, hmm, let's send all this redstone back to the storage base, and off it goes there. You get the idea. If it isn't in any of these different keys, it will go to the default location at the end. Now I'm going to be using this quite a lot in my new Let's Play world for doing automatic farms and mass movement of storage to new areas for builds. Now, it's a relatively simple concept and in this I've also built in a way to get your items back. So, what's the next application of this? So it's not just for me being lazy in my own world, you can be lazy on servers as well. For instance, we've got three people's bases directions here and we want to send some things to an individual person. So let's say we want to send all these redstone blocks and we'll send it to John. So in goes a John book, send it along and it goes to John's base. Now I have to note, your key comes out of the minecart itself and comes back into the original chest. So you can use this to effectively send messages to players or move items all around. Also in your own Let's Play worlds, you can use these as item um, keys basically or locations without needing to mess around with doubling up on items and we'll send this one somewhere else so we send it here now they don't have to be in the first slot as long as it is somewhere in the minecart or the hopper minecart it will work and there you go so let's have a look at how this actually works now there's two considerations in the system that I designed into it. First of all, you can get your items back. If you're using expensive keys or something on a server where you don't want to keep replacing and you don't really want that item to be going to the location, then you can get it back. Second of all, it has to be modular. So this is the basic crux of one of the modules. You have as many or as few of these as you want. So for instance, we'll just go through quickly how this works items in minecart very very simple sorter when the item goes through it will fire the dropper when the item gets sorted that will go back to a dropper vator and back to the original chest completely optional you could take that out and then at the same time just in time for the minecart to go from here to this junction here it changes direction if the minecart wasn't meant to go down here, then it will continue on along the track. Just like so. So there is a world download in the description, and I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give it a like. And as always, I'm King Happy, and I'll see you next time.